Why, hello, hello, this is Rogue Blades coming to you live from Uncle Tully's Arena, and we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. That's right, we're going to be playing the Assault instead of Assassin. I know, I know, I'm shocked too, but, um, you know, I wasn't really feeling Assassin this past weekend, so I played a lot of Assault trying to really work that up. I'm still nowhere near as good as other Assault YouTubers like Sunny Dove and especially not Xenonox, but, uh, yeah, so... That can be a little disclaimer, I am incredibly average. I, I posted a pretty good score, but trust me, I am very average. And you'll notice, I think, that I really like to play Assault a lot like Assassin. I'm very hit and run, very dodgy. I try not to pick fights that uh, are fair. Um, very guerrilla fighter tactics. I probably learned a lot of that just playing Assassin. I will run at the first sign of danger. I love charge and I love the bomb jump. Both of those are incredibly useful for getting in and out of situations. Oh, it's great. But one bad thing about learning how to play this game by playing Assassin is I have no concept of aiming. My aim is so bad, and uh, you'll see when I juice a lot, I just completely drop the ball and uh, oh, start off the game with a headcrab, that's always a good way to start. And I figure, why the hell not, I better taunt, but of course there's a support that just rounds the corner, and I, you know, I deserve that, but headcrab for the first kill, it's gotta be, it's gotta be a taunt. But anyway, like I was saying, uh, the only reason I can really play any other class in this game other than Assassin is just because I feel like I've got a pretty good game sense and good situational awareness like I talked about in my other video, and that's really my only saving grace for every other class. I mean, you guys should see me play Tank or Gunner. Oh, it's pathetic. I, I, I go negative like a boss when I play the heavy classes. Um, I need to be able to move around a lot and Tank. Tank and Gunner for me just don't really do it. But we are not playing Tanker Gunner, we are playing the Assault today. So let's uh, let's talk about some of the things that I've noticed about Assault. Um, obviously, you're, you're not going to get the best metagame analysis from me on Assault, but we can, we can still make uh, points, we can still make inferences. And so here, here's what I got to say about Uncle Tolly's on Assault. You will get so many kills if you just spam grenades. It is demo spam the game in this fucking map, because... This tunnel, I, I avoid the tunnel like the plague because, in my opinion, the tunnel is where stupid people go to die. But, uh, so you'll see me on purpose try never to go in there unless I've got juice and then I'll just try to blow through it no matter what. But, um, yeah, so grenade launcher is your best friend on this map. You can bounce them everywhere, and if you're smart and you learn all the spots, you can bounce grenades from, like, the middle of the tunnel to, to the money ball without even trying, and, uh, juice player, so we better run, um, that's always, always the best decision, just get the hell out of there, put some damage on Chicky, and I'm thinking about getting away, but then I realized that he just slammed, and so I went back to grab him, and as I grab, of course, his cooldown for days goes up, so I just decide to leave, I, I really don't like picking on Chicky, especially alone, um, but Assault, oh, Assault is so good with uh, with Bacon, so I feel so bad about not doing it. But if you're doing it alone, it takes like a three, four minutes just to frickin' kill him. And that's three or four minutes you could be, you know, killing bots, getting money, uh, killing players, whatever. And you completely lose field control while you're doing that, so it's, it's a really risky proposal. And now we have this support, and obviously I'm going to charge him out of the map because more money. And also you'll notice I play a very skill-heavy assault. I, I do run the standard um, gold armor, silver rate of fire, bronze skill. Um, I probably should run gold skill to give that a shot since I use my skills so much. And the reason why is going back to that whole I can't really aim thing. Although I feel like my bomb placement is pretty good, I can usually predict where players are going, especially on this map because if they're in the outside ring and they take damage, they're going to go to the turrets and try to escape. So you just throw a bomb up and they die. So that's pretty simple stuff. But um, And then charge too. Charge and bomb are just such noob tools for killing and I love them because my aim is just atrocious. So I, I should probably try gold, uh, gold skill regen once in a while. But I just really want that gold armor. Helps to survive assassin backstabs at the beginning of the game um, and a lot of other things. So, you know, it's trade-offs really. And you saw about 10 or 15 seconds ago when I was harassing the bots and um, a bouncer was coming my way and picking on one of my f uh, friendly assault teammates. Um, I used the gravity lift to get off the ground so that I lost aggro from the bouncer and then just hovered back. I really like doing that on assault. I like being able to like break the preset gravity lift paths with your uh, jets. But on this map you have to be a little wary because when you use the jet or when you use the um, gravity lifts that send you really high in the air, for some reason. Um, your boosters cut off really soon, and so if you're over dead space, then you'll just fall to your death. So you've got to be careful about that, and um, it can also be really helpful on this map because this is the only map that uh, the gravity lifts damage you because they launch you so far. Uber, you might want to fix that. 
um, it's kind of a pain in the ass. So you can you can hit your jets right before you hit the ground so that you negate the whole fall damage thing. And that can be really helpful, especially if you're trying to escape from tanks, those fucking bastards light you on fire and then you just take fall damage and die. But um so you have to you have to know how to do stuff like that. But breaking the gravity lift's path is incredibly useful for gaining map control and for being unpredictable. But anyway, now I am doing that thing that I do as Assassin, which is just harass their spawn area and their bots. This Assassin comes out and he gets a one-way ticket to Murder Town, although I didn't really get the kill. But it's still funny because I got to roast him, and that's always hilarious. And so now, this Assault was picking on me, and I have a really good idea. I decide I'm going to lay a trap for him, and everything goes perfectly, um, and I'm waiting for him to come, and he does, but I don't see it in time, and so I activate the trap late. But that's really good, especially on this map, because... For classes who aren't the assault and can't break the jet or can't break the gravity lift's path, um, it's basically a free bomb. It might just kill them straight out, but it's at least going to be a free bomb. It's just like the sniper ice trapping those places. It can be really helpful. I know that uh, talking about sniper for a little bit, this is a pretty bad map for sniper. Most would agree, but the best kind of snipers are the ones who just trap the landing zones and just get headshots that way. Tablolon does that, and it is really obnoxious because. You don't have to be good to hit a standing still player, just do that. So I took a lot of damage and I retreat to this area and drop a bomb thinking, okay, if they come and pick on me, I'm just going to blow myself up so nobody gets a kill. But no one does, so I decide, oh, well, I'll just bomb jump out of here. And so I do that to try to get away because going out the back door on this map, now that there's level twos everywhere, it can be really risky. So I just decide to bomb jump to safety. And I'm once again going to just pick on their bots from this area. This bomb spot can be really helpful because kills. Like I said, stupid players love to sit in the tunnel, and I don't understand why. Because you're sandwiched. There's nowhere for you. There's nowhere for you to go. You're just going to take damage, and then you can't escape. And even when you do, someone like the assault or the assassin can use their bouncing projectiles to kill you around the corner. And I got hit with that bomb just there, so obviously I'm going to fall back and uh, play it safe. That's always what you want to do, especially when you're this red. I probably should have waited even a little longer before going back in, but I was all about getting back into the fray. Uh, pick up charge 3 there because uh, it's just so great for getting kills. Any, any light class or even medium class that isn't running gold armor is really going to get hurt badly by that. And... Uh, See, I mean, you see things like that. I like to, with Charge 3, I like to, as I'm running up to someone who doesn't know I'm there, I'll just unload, you know, quarter clip, half a clip into them, and then finish them off with a Charge 3, because that's going to kill basically anyone but a tank. And so that is incredibly useful, especially for noobs like me who just want easy kills. And so now I'm just sitting right at the edge of the uh, tunnel, trying to pick off bots, um, being very careful. The second I start to see grenades or anything bouncy, I am out of there because you do not want to overextend yourself in here and find yourself in a really rough place that you can't escape. And I noticed, of course, that the Annihilator's up, and I'm definitely going to pick that up. Try to get a, an awesome bomb throw kill on this guy, but it just didn't happen. Uh, and now I'm just getting picked on from all sides and have no skills, but uh, I retreat, pick off this guy, and I see him, I see this assault just bouncing in the ball pit, and since my aim is so bad, I realize I'm never going to hit this guy, so I'm going to charge him. And that's what I do. I just fly and wait till our paths line up and charge in the middle, because that can also be really helpful, especially for someone whose aim is just pathetic like mine. So I see some health bars in the tunnel, and I decide to, you know, spam a little, and I get a kill, because... They're just, it's its free, basically. It's so easy. And I, I bomb this guy and get the charge, because bomb-charge combo is, like, the easiest way to kill anything. And, um, that, that just furthers the whole, I have no skill at aiming, I just use skills to play, and that's fine. And there's this assassin, I am so glad that I noticed him and turned around in time. And, uh, of course, charge three him, too, because why not? And now it's a freaking heavy sandwich rape, but, uh, so we're, we're gonna get right back in. I noticed this uh, support doing uh, his firebase thing, and I use this trick right here, which is activating your boosters right after you uh, hit the bouncy pad so that I can stay out of sight of the firebase and it gets aggro on bots so that I can focus on the firebase without being threatened. So, using things like that, I can keep myself out of danger and, you know, fight someone head on really without taking any damage and grab a bomb there and, you know, get this kill, no big deal. And I'm just going to start harassing the tunnel again, just lobbing grenades. I see this assassin, and is he going to die? He might. No. Looks like he's getting away. Oh, I notice he goes up, and I throw a bomb, and I manage to hit him, but now they're both down there, right on my shit, so I decide to pop my juice, which was maybe a good decision, maybe not. It definitely keeps myself safe. 
And here's me being terrible at assault. Look at this. The, the, he has one health. I have to hit him once. And I just can't do it. And if I hadn't run like that, he would have killed me. And I get this weird lucky charge 3 hit on the assault who was almost certainly going to finish me off. And I am not complaining. But uh, when, I, when I hit charge, I was thinking, I'm just going to get away from the bots and from the people shooting at me. And I, instead, I auto latched to this assault who was all up on my shit. And this support is, was on my uh, on my balls the entire game, trying to like rush shotgun me down. He was not not too happy about me being in the lobby, but um, and I just picked off another person in the tunnel because he was unfortunately launched into it. And I'm gonna grab some juice because I have all this money and I'm basically done buying skills. So I pick up the juice and think, oh, I'm gonna harass the the tunnel a little bit. But these freaking bouncers and this assault forces me to pull pull juice and. Once again, when Juice pops, I am just unacceptably bad at this game. I just He's running in a straight line, I still can't kill him. And I'm thinking, oh crap, I'm in danger, I better charge away. But I get caught on the wall, and I throw a bomb to cover my tracks, and there is an assassin behind me. And instead of covering my tracks, I basically just launch this stupid-ass assassin into my back where she finishes me off. And gotta love it when stuff like that happens, I mean... Sometimes stupid shit is stupid, and I get another really dumb death in this game. I think it's the only other death I have, and it was uh, like a jackpot knocking me off the level, and I should have been fine, but my boosters didn't like activate, and then I just fell to my death. But I try to go for the Annihilator, and I notice there's a fire base, so I retreat, but I also I turn around and I see that it's unhacked, and so I think, well, if I just go in there and get out quick, I'm not going to really take any damage. So that's exactly what I do. And, you know, grabbing the Annihilator is definitely worth it. Some might even say it's worth taking a death for it. Um, I usually play Assassin, so it's never an issue, because I can get in there and get out without anyone even knowing I was there. But with Assault, you got to be a little more careful. And I take, I take my health down to red and uh, retreat a little. And I'm just sitting in the turret area, waiting for anything to happen. Uh, see this Assassin, try to get the bomb kill, but he just has a little bit too much health. I don't think he's going to die. But, um... So once again, I'm just going to pressure. I get pressured, and so I retreat, and this support is still mad at me, but I jump over him in typical TF2 fashion and run away. And this is the trap I was talking about. You just wait for them to land, and they are your bitch. And uh, it doesn't matter that he's escaping because he's going to die from fire damage. And I'm going to pick on this support who's been trying to kill me this entire game, really. And so I should have shot first to get the guaranteed kill, but I just charged in. And I bomb, but I miss, and so I know he's going to run away, and he does, so... Oh, there's an assassin, and there's a support, and an assault. I definitely should have died there, but I'm glad that people are worse than me at this game. So that's always comforting to know that I'll never be the worst. But anyway, so I am down to the red, so I am definitely going to run away and let my health regen. I throw a bomb in that turret area just to let my, uh, just to cover my tracks, make sure there is no one trying to come after me. Um... So, yeah, just playing a really standard, nothing special game here. And I guess I could take this time, since I don't think a lot happens, um, to talk about, you know, channel stuff, you know, that kind of thing. So, I should say, first off, thank you to all my subscribers. I broke 100, uh, what, like a few days ago. I was talking about doing a 100 sub milestone, and I still want to do that, but I just haven't, haven't gotten the right ideas yet. Maybe, uh, maybe someone has a suggestion. I don't really know. I was thinking about just, uh, recording my life for all of you people so you can see the real me. But I, I don't really know, I haven't really decided. Um, and like I said, I still really want to play Mega Man X Corrupted when that comes out. Uh, if you haven't checked it out yet, you definitely should. I am super excited for it. I'm gonna try to um, play a few more classes and get a little bit more diversity on the channel, uh, MNC-wise, because I know some people are getting tired as hell of watching me play Assassin over and over again. And to be honest, I was getting kind of tired of it myself, and that's why I played a lot of uh, Assault this past weekend. Um, let's see, what else is new? Oh, right, I have been drafted into yet another competitive MNC team by Sunny Dove again. If you haven't heard of it, it is Team Freaking Awesome Players or Team Fap. Oh, yeah, here's that death. So... I just kind of like got knocked out of the ring by a jackpot, and if you if you looked at it in the uh, in the recording, you see that I my fly skill was activated. It was actively draining, but for some reason my jets just wouldn't activate, and I fell to my death. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a little upset about that. So I think, oh well, I'm just gonna take it out on the red team by grabbing juice and freaking destroying their money ball. But I'm just gonna wait for my wait for my time to strike. 
And uh, so yeah, team team Fap. We are team freaking awesome players. It is myself, Sunny Dove, and a roster of impressive players. So be excited for that. I think we have a scrim against Raw Messiah coming up eventually. I, we we've been talking about that, so we're we're just gonna see what happens. But anyway, we are we are quickly getting towards overtime. So I decide I need to position myself. I switch to assault rifle for some reason. I, I pop it and then I realize, oh wait a second, the grenade launcher is definitely what I want to be damaging the money ball with. And so, definitely doing money ball damage, and I'm gonna play it safe, and once my juice is almost over, I'm gonna bail, and you know, I've got $800, and as I recall, the last juice machine had not been used, so I think, well, I'm definitely gonna go grab that and just end this game. And I, in order to get back to the money ball, especially on this map, it can be risky, so I think I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna bomb jump over this here fence, and this is my favorite bomb jump way like, this is my favorite way to bomb jump in this game, which is over that fence right in their money ball area. And it definitely worked. They were not expecting that. I encourage all assaults to do that, because it can be super helpful, no matter what you're trying to do. But anyway, looks like we are at the end of this game. So I hope you enjoyed my assault, my incredibly average assault. Maybe I'll do more in the future. But anyway, until next time, this has been Rogue Blades. Stay average.